I hope I get a take all because I want to win the game. Watch the video and learn more about put and take. You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a game called Put and Take, an exciting game for all. This is a shopper game, and right here in the corner it says, pronounced, shopper. And the graphics on the side are pretty much the same all the way around. It says number 203. I don't know if any of you had this game, but there are so many versions of it and names of it that uh, I'm sure you have at one time seen it or a version. So there's nothing on the bottom. But let me just open it up so you can see the inside. Not sure if I have it the right way. Oh, there you go. So this is put and take. Here's your kitty. And then here's your spinner. And then your colored pieces. Now each of the colored pieces is a different point value, which they show on the inside of the instructions. So let's just give that a quick look here. Because to be honest with you, I'm struggling with this game in regards to exactly how to play it. I mean, I understand how to play it. It's more the scoring. But... The yellow chips are worth one point, the red are worth five, and the blue are worth ten. Now it tells you to start the game each player is given chips worth a total of 40 points. It doesn't tell you necessarily the breakdown. So you can probably have uh, a ten pointer, a couple five pointers, and the rest in yellow. Uh, so that's a little uncertainty there. So any chosen player may start the game. So the players take turns spinning the top. So let's just get set up here and I'll read a little bit more in a little bit so we can get started. The spinner. This is the kitty. And let me split up some chips here. So there's 10, 20, 5, there's 30 for one player. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let's say that is one player's pieces. So I'll just play as one player right now. You can play as two, three, or four players. And the scoring is different for each group. All right. So there is the next person, next group. Five. There's 15, 20, 25, 30. 40. So that's one way, I guess. If you want to give more yellow, I guess, or more red, I guess you could do that too. It doesn't really say. And then the players take turns spinning the top. All right. So let me just get some extra token pieces out here. Let's just say that there is a second player. And here's where I have the issue. Because you're scoring now. I'll show you this one more time. You can pause and enlarge this and read this all for yourself. But if there's... Uh, Four or more players, that's 100 points. If there are three players in the game, the points need to be 75. And when there are only two players, one player must win all the chips. Okay, so there's another five. Here we go. One more set of five for that player. Okay, so we're set for two players. So... Let's get the spinning going, because that's the best part, is watching this top spin. And it's a two-piece top. This comes off. Not sure if it's supposed to, but it does. So let me say, I'm just going to show you the spinning part. And then as it lands, it's going to either be a put or a take. I'm going to leave this here. We're just testing the spin now. Okay, so it's way off the screen. Let's test that again. Because when the play starts, it said that each player is going to put in three. So we're going to put in three. So that's a put three. So now I am going to put three. And here we go. I won't spin it too hard because it does spin for a while. Try to get it to slow down and stop quicker. So this person has a take one. And the game continues. Now you can trade in your tokens and, and trade them down. So if you want to get five ones and trade in the red, you can. I'm doing very light spin. So I got a take one. So now I'm building up my coins here, my tokens, because I want a hundred of them. 
So there's the take two for this person. Now if at any point there's less than two total points, I think it was, let's see. If during the game less than three chips in point value are in the kitty, each player adds three more. So you're going to keep adding to the kitty because you're trying to catch, you know, collect as many coins as possible. Take two. Okay, now there's three points in there, so let's see if this person gets a take. Now that's a put four. One, two, three, four. Now let's just say this person has no more yellows. I think at this point they can trade in a red to the either to another player and say, I'll take five of your yellow just so that they have five yellow. Whoever has the most yellow. And I think they could even come in here now and take one, two, three, four, five if they really wanted to, if there's no more in the bank, and you just keep going. Now, if this guy gets a take, then he's going to pull that five-pointer, right? Let's see. Stop, stop, stop. Right on the spot. Oh, put two. So let me put two in there. All right, so that continues on until one person collects 100. Now, that's the way I kind of see it. Now, what if, let's say he only has his blue token. Can he put his blue token in there? Or would he want to cash that out if it's an option to get uh, two reds or a red and five yellow? Because you're kind of dwindling away. So you cash that out and eventually someone's going to have enough chips piled up on their side. Let's say this person's winning and they've cashed in a few yellows for some tens and they're going to build up till they collect all the coins. So now if I'm down to this two yellows, alright, and it's my turn, and I put two. This guy spins, takes a take three. Okay, I can still go. I just can't put. I can take, though. So now I get another put three. I can't. All right, so I get a put three. So this guy's going to spin again, take all. All right, they win the game. Let's see if there's two players. Well, that's the way I see it. Now, I really wasn't too sure, you know, the exact rules because it's very unclear the color chips you start with. That's a game of put and take. Wanted to show it, so hopefully we can start a, a little conversation in the comments because there's very little information in regards to gameplay on this. So it helps out if you played it a certain way when you grew up or had a way of playing it. Leave that in the comments so we can read that. And if you like other cool vintage games like this, then look in the description for a playlist. And as always, search our channel. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.